Hello everyone and welcome to this new ArcGIS tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how to do a topographic profile, terrain cross section or long section using ArcMap in ArcGIS. And also you will learn how to improve the quality and the presentation of your topographic profile so that you would be able to represent your work in this shape here to the right. So let's say you have a topographic profile AA prime in this LiDAR DEM. If you have created a topographic profile like this, how to improve the uh, presentation of your topographic profile and then how to save it as a picture and also how to export the data to Excel sheet. The data from this topographic profile that you created here, if you need for any reason to export this data here into Excel sheet. So when you open ArcMap guys, let's say that you have uh, a digital terrain model like this one here. This is a LiDAR digital terrain model, any kind of digital terrain model or DEM like SRTM D DEM for example or Aster DEM, any kind of DEM you have, you can create a topographic profile. And on this channel guys, you can find the, uh, the methods for downloading free SRTM data and Aster data and also there is a video on how to convert a topographic map, paper topographic map into a DEM like this one here. Now let's start from this point guys, we have a DEM like this and you would like to create a topographic profile, topographic profile like this one, let's call it A, A1 or a topographic profile like this one or if you are interested for example uh, to create a topographic profile along this line here or along this line here. These are valleys, I believe. Okay, so you will learn how to do this. Let's call this AA2, for example, etc. So to create a topographic profile, you would need to use the 3D analysis tool. If you right click using your mouse anywhere here, just right, right click here, guys, and then you will see a list like this one. And then from this list, guys, you will pick the 3D analyst on the top. If you look here on the top, you will have the 3D analyst. And then you will click here on the 3D analyst so that you will have it here somewhere around your workspace. I have the 3D analyst tool. This is the tool bar, guys. This is the one. So these are the tools for 3D analyst. And we will use this toolbar for creating the topographic profile in this DTM. So creating topographic profile, guys, is very easy and simple. From the toolbar that you have here, first you would make sure that you would select the right data set here, okay? So I have here two data sets. I have LiDAR data and I have DEM from a map. Now I'm doing a topographic profile on the DEM created from the map on this data set here. Okay, so make sure that the, da the data set that you are working on is here, is located here. And then you will use this tool here, guys. This one, interpolate line. This one here. Okay, I'm trying just to make it clear to you. This one for interpolating line. You will click here. Once you click on this tool, so if you would like to create a topographic profile called AA prime here, for example, just you can draw two points and then this is your line. After that guys, once you have created the line, you need to click here, a profile graph. Here guys, this is the tool here. You will click here to, to draw the profile graph and then you will have the topographic profile along your line. And here I have between A and A prime for example and this is the topography. As you can see there is a big change in the topography from zero here to 270 meters. We have a valley here, okay, etc. So you will learn how to do this. Now, after this quick presentation, let's go to ArcMap, open it and create a topographic profile. Not just that, and we will improve the presentation of this topographic profile. And also you will learn how to save this topographic profile as a picture and also how to export the data to an Excel sheet. Now, so I have opened ArcMap now. So first, and this is 3D Analyst, as you can see here from the list uh, here, when you right click anywhere here, and then you will pick 3D Analyst, as you can see, and this is 3D Analyst toolbar, as you can see. Now from here, guys, first, I have two data sets here. I have LiDAR data and I have Map25K. 
I will pick the LiDAR data one, this one. I will work on this one. I will uh, do a topographic profile on this one. Now, as I mentioned, you will go to interpolate line, this one, this tool here, and then one click. And now you will draw your topographic profile somewhere here. So for example, double click here, and this is my topographic profile. Now how to create it? Go to this tool here, guys. Okay, see profile graph, profile graph. One click here, guys. This is my topographic profile. You can make larger from here, just like this. Okay, this is my topographic profile. This is the shape of the topography that I have along this line that I created along this line, guys, here. This is the topographic profile. Now, how to improve the presentation of this topographic profile? I'm going now, guys, to click here, somewhere here on the top. Right-click using your mouse like this, and then go to Advanced Properties. Okay? Now I have my advanced properties. I will put this here so that we can see all the changes. I will not go through all the uh, properties, guys. I will go through some of them so that you will be familiar with them and then you will learn how to improve the quality of the presentation of your graph. For example, here I will go first to the graph profile itself here. So let's say first that I would like to change the color of this line. Okay. I will go here to color here guys and then one click and then I will pick the color that I would like for example I would like to use the orange one this one click OK here and this is now the new color for the topographic profile now guys let's go to access here for example to do some changes to the access to the left I have here and to the bottom so I will start with this access so with the left one. As you can see here, I will pick this one. I will change the color to be blue. And I will give it a title. Let's start with the title, guys. Here, for example, I will call this axis here to the left, this one here, guys. I will call it elevation. These are the elevations. These numbers represent the elevations. And I will state the unit as meters. Okay, as you can see here, elevation in meters, now you can see it here. Now let me change the size of this title, of the elevation title, and the uh, format of it. Let's go to format, go to text. Okay, go to format, to text, I will make it larger, for example, 14, let's say. And then I will make the color as a blue, for example, and they, I would say yes. I'm, I can make it bold as well. And now I have changed the color. Now let's go to text here, for example, here on the top, guys, in, the win in this window. Let's go to text. And then I will start with the axis itself. I will change the color of the axis itself. I would make it blue as well. Now, guys, when you looked here, you would see it's a blue now. I would make it bold the width too. I would say okay I'm happy with that now you can go to ticks these little ticks here guys for each number we have a little tick we are going to change the color as well to be blue the width as well you can change it if you like also you can change the length of the tick if you look here guys I'm increasing the length now just to see the effect of that I'm decreasing now. Let's say I'm happy with the length of the tick to be, for example, seven. Okay. Now I'm happy with the ticks and uh, with the color of the axis. Now I would like to change these numbers, guys, the format of the numbers and the uh, color of the numbers. You will go to labels here. From labels, go to text. I will change the font size to be, for example, 10. I will change the color to be from here, guys, to be blue. I will say OK here. Now, if you look here, they are blue colors. Now, more about the labels, guys. These numbers here, 
to control them. If you would like just here for the size, if you look here, the size, when you try to change the size, you would see that you can move the axis away from the title of the axis and close. From here, you can control this from the size, okay? And also the angle of the numbers. Now the numbers are horizontal like this. You can turn them from the angle. Look here, if you look here, the angle, 90 degrees. Just look at the effect of that. Okay, if you are happy with this, just you can leave it there. Separation also, the minimum separation, it's now 10%. You can increase it to be 20. You will look at the effect here, guys. Now, from 80 to 100, 120, each 20. If you increase the minimum separation, it would be 100, 150, etc. I'm happy with it as 10%. So, and there are a lot of options. You can just try them. Just you can change the text, the format, the look here. You can make the numbers bold as well. You can do whatever suits your work. I will do now the same for the horizontal axis here. And then I will get back to you. Now I will go to the title to add a title for this um, axis. I will call it here distance. So now if you look down here, guys, you have distance units in meter. I will format now to the text. The color, I will make it blue, as you can see here, bold, and then I will increase size to be 14. And then you can return to labels to increase the distance between the title of the axis and the axis itself, and the numbers, as we have done here, if you like. So from size, guys, just increase the size. You will just make with this now. So... We have here along this axis the distance and the changes in the elevation along the distance guys. I'm happy with the format of both axes now, the left one and the bottom one. Just I will go to do some changes to the titles guys here. The title of the, this title of the uh, profile, I will do some change here. I will write a new title for it. Let's say I will call it LiDAR profile for example. Okay, this is the title of my profile. I will go to text. I will increase the size of this to be, for example, 18. I will change the color to be, for example, this one. And then I'm happy with everything now. I'm happy with the title. I will keep it as it is. Now I will go from here, guys. Go to subtitle. If you look down here in the graph, by default, you will have something like that. This is as a subtitle. I would like to remove it. I don't need this for my profile. I will go here to subtitle. Here, guys, I would remove this. Okay, now I'm happy with it. And now I will go to panel, guys. For example, here. The panel color, guys, here, as you can see here, the color, the panel is the outside of the drawing, this one, this area. I will change the color now to see the effect of that. For example, I will pick, uh, you can pick, you can create your own color, of course. For example, I would pick color like this, let's say. And this is the color, look at the panel color, this one. Okay, it's being changed now. Okay, so before I continue, guys, I would return here to graphic profile on the top here, guys, to let you know how to make this profile line thicker, if you like. So if you go here to border, guys, just increase the width of it to make it thicker. As you can see here, just look at the changes. Yeah, just make it something suitable to you. I would make it now for now as three. So this is how to control the thickness of this line here. So now let's go to walls down here, guys, down walls. The wall is this color behind the graph. If you look here, now the wall is visible. I will make it invisible. I will untick this one. Look at this. Now we don't have this wall here. Now let's close this. This is our profile now. 
I am happy with it. Okay. I'm happy with the axis. I need bottom, distance, and the lift for elevation. I have the units, meter, etc. I'm happy with everything. This is my topographic profile that I created here, this line. Now, when you are happy 100% with your topographic profile and you would like to save it as a picture, just right click on the top here, guys, and then export. Now I will save it, for example, as GIF. I would say save. And then on the desktop, for example, I would give it a name, LIDAR, for example, and then I would click Save. Now it's been saved. So now let's go and have a look here. Go to the desktop. I saved this here. So this is my saved picture. I will open it, for example, using this software. And this is my saved picture for the topographic profile. You can insert this in Word file or any kind of work that you are doing. You can include it. Okay, let's close this now. And return to our work. Now, this topographic profile, as you know, guys, it's just a sequence of numbers. The distance between 0 and 5,000 meters along 5 kilometers here, guys. I've created this along 5 kilometers. The change in topography, it was from 0 to roughly 300 meters. So if you'd like to export this to an Excel sheet, you'll click here, right click on the top of the graph that you have, guys. And then you will go to Advanced Properties. And then you will go to Data. These are, as you can see here, the coordinates X and Y. X for the distance along this axis here and by the elevations along the elevation axis here. And as you can see here, my DTM resolution is 30 meters. So you would see roughly each 30 meter we have a point along the profile. So from zero to roughly 30, 60, 90, 120, etc. Okay, now the easiest way to Export this into an Excel sheet is to copy the data from here. Go down, down here, guys. Look here down. Okay, go to this one and copy. Just click copy and you will have a copy of this data. And then you will open an Excel sheet and paste it. I will open an Excel sheet now here, for example. I have this Excel sheet and just I will go and paste. From here, paste. Now, this is my data here, guys that I copied from there to here. You can change now here to right distance and then here the elevation. Another way to save this as Excel sheet is to go here, right click here and export. Okay, when you export it, just you would select export data from here guys and then you would select from here Excel. So export data as Excel sheet and then you would say save and just you will give it a name, for example, and then save it. You can change the extension if you like, and then you can save it. Now my Excel sheet is being saved. So there are two ways, in fact, one of them to copy and paste in Excel sheet, and the other one to export as an Excel sheet. Okay, guys, so that was it for today. I hope that this session was useful to you. You learned how to create a topographic profile and also how to improve the presentation of it and how to export it into an Excel sheet as well so that you can use it later on. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you soon. Take care and bye now.